ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging Hebas ng sinahanan Alam ng puso Sa dikit mo'y buhay Upang hinihang Kuya ka ng magiging Sa mandulupi Di ka pasisigil Sa nagatang tutok Sa simoy at sa langit Kung pangraw Ay hinatang tula Kawin sa pagkaya minamahal Ang isang kapuatawan everyone, a 24 degree night here in Binyan. It feels like summer already. These are the elite teams that belong to the upper echelon and this will be their first and final meeting before we go to the playoffs next week. Welcome to the Alonte Sports Arena here in Binyan, Laguna. It's the Dava Occidental Tigers versus the Binyan Tatak Gel Beast Motorcycle Tires Game X. Hello everybody with Noi Africa. My name is Sandy Grumo and Andrea Veloso will join us later at the side. Magandang gabi sa iyo, Noy. Magandang gabi, Sandy. And it's nice to be back here in the city of life, Binyan. And of course, let's take a look at the team standings we have here, Noy. Uh, malapit na po tayo sa, semi, uh, sa playoffs natin. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, you know, both of these teams really looking to improve in the standings and hopefully, you know, gain a favorable matchup in the playoffs. And now let's go... To that, uh, what you're saying, Noy? Yeah, that's right. And uh, with a victory here, Binyan will uh, definitely uh, lock up that top spot. Uh, even if uh, Nueva Ecija beats San Juan, they do have that winner over the other advantage over Nueva Ecija. Well, Davao looking to improve uh, could go uh, up to number five. But at this stage, they're either number five or their worst finish is number six. And of course, both of these teams, uh, two of the teams that have really been streaking, Davao has won la their last eight games, so Elbinian has won their last three games. Uh, now we go to the uh, game of the Davao Occidental Tigers versus the Miss Orr Mustangs. Also smile, it was a tight ball game. Miss Orr controlled the game until the third, but Davao controlled the fourth. Yeah, that's right, and uh, Davao able to really get this victory. They're eight straight, as we said. Uh, in this game, they shot very well from the field. 50% out rebounded. Miss Orr by 16 points in the paint. Really dominated that one. 52 to 22. Able to run, as you expect from this very young squad. 22 fast break points and able to outscore that Miss Orr bench. 59 to 24. Now we go to this guy, Michael. He is perfect. Uh, he's a perfect fit to the Davao team and undefeated in eight games. And this is his eighth game, by the way, Noy. And ever since he came into this Davao squad, really a plug-and-play player, uh, you know, eight games played, all games just uh, wins for them, eight straight wins. In their last game, broke out with 16 points, 10 rebounds, and a very efficient seven out of 11 from the field. Yeah, June Manzo, he was steady and was steering the ship well. Yeah, you know, earlier in the season, just really more of a playmaker, but. Uh, lately, Junman's are really trying to get into that scoring role 
for Davao in, in their last game, finishing with 14 points on two out of four from the three-point area. Now we go to the other side, the uh, Binyan Tatak Gel Game X was the first team to defeat the Caloocan Supremos in their home court, and that was March 8. And so far, that has been a very difficult task, but uh, Binyan really just blew out the Caloocan Supremos. Even if they were limited to just eight points in the third, the lead that they built early was enough question for them. In that game, they shot very well from the field, 50%. Really very efficient also from the three-point area. 11 out of 27. You know, his numbers goes up and down this season, but played big in his last game versus the Caloacan Supremos. Well, uh, in that game, he was a point a minute. But, of course, you do know whenever Carlo Lastimos is on the floor, he has one job to score. And in that last game, finished uh, with 13 points and four rebounds and a very efficient five out of eight from the field. And how about Pamboy Raimundo also played big versus Caloacan in his last game? Well, if Carlo Lastimos is on the floor to score, Pamboy Raimundo, the, his primary role is to be a playmaker. And But in that game, whenever needed, he did knock down the big shots, finishing with 10 points, 3 rebounds, and still 7 assists. Now we go to our marquee matchup in tonight's ballgame, June Manzo versus Pamboy Raimundo. Yeah, both of these players, mga veterano ang nagtitimon. Uh, their main role for the team is to playmake, but whenever they are needed to score, they do that very efficiently. Jun Manzo in the tournament has been averaging 9 points, 2 rebounds, and uh, 4 assists, while Pamboy Raimundo averaging 6 points, 2 rebounds, and 3 assists. And now we will be joined by our courtside reporter, Andrea Veloso. How are you doing, Andrea? Hi, Sandy and Coach Noy. It's really good to be back here in Binyan to bring you some courtside happenings. You know, this will be the first and final meeting of these two teams, Davao and Binyan. What is the thought process for these two teams in coming into this ballgame? Sandy and Coach Noy, sa daming ang magagaling dito sa Binyan. Coach Manu hopes to maintain that composure and play hard mentality of his team. And expect na rin ni Coach Manu ang pressure na ibibigay ng Binyan crowd. Kaya naman, he reminded his players na wag magpadala and just keep playing the right way. Para naman dito sa Binyan, coaching staff Al Alvin Milan said that hindi pa sila contento and the goal is to be the number one team in the team standing. So let's expect that no complacency mindset coming from this team in this game. Kaya wag na natin patagalan mga ka-PSL. Let's start this game. Geo Cruz, take it away. Good evening, PSL fans, and welcome to Alante Sports Arena here in the City of Life, Binyan City. This is the third game of our triple header, and now it's time to meet your super teams. First from your Tabo Occidental Tigers, Purple Life. Starting forward, number 20, Justin Sanchez. Also at forward, number 22, Bam Bam Gamalina. Playing center, number 33, Kelly Nabor. On guard, number 39, Tony Enoch. Also at guard number four, Ryan Gustello, head coach, Mano Inigo, assisted by Nolly Mels, Andy Mels, assistant team manager, Jose Marie Protasio, team manager, Arvin Bonleon, and team owner, Honorable Congressman Claude Bautista. Binian, are you ready? It's me, the starting lineups from your. Vinyan Tatak Gel Beast Motorcycle Tire Game X. Starting forward number 12, Tyron Chen. Also at forward number 7, Joseph Pena Redondo. Playing center number 51, Alvin Baitiong. Starting guard number 27, Robbie Manalan. Also at guard number 13, The Fast. J.J. Hulterbrand. Head coach for Binyan Tatak Gel Game X. Boyan Fernandez, assisted by Gino Manantala, Rico Meyerhofer, Jerry Gapo. The stunning team five for the Davao Occidental Tigers. Uh, Ryan Costello, Winston Enot, uh, Kelly Nabong, Justin Sanchez, and Bam Bam Gamalinda. Binyan will start with J.J. Hulterbrand, Manalang by Chong, Tyron Chan, and Joseph Pina Ridondo. And the officiating crew, Bayae Santos and Celeste. Again, we are happy that you can join us. We are here inside the Alonte Sports Arena here in Binyan, Laguna. Experience Binyan. And, you know, this is my fourth time here, Noi Africa. 
and uh, just a real, you know, a wonderful venue to go to. Uh, very spacious and maliwalas uh, yeah. paningin, of course. And Davao controlling the tip. Ryan Costello starting for the team. Now Jun Manzo as Tony Enoch will drive and will score the first field goal of the game. You know, that's really the strength of uh, Tony Enoch able to use his physicality and speed to get all the way to the rim. Pina Redondo outside. J.J. Helterbrand playing here and in the starting five as uh, Bai Chong scoring downstairs. And uh, right there, uh, Kelly Nabong caught looking the wrong way, not able to find uh, Tyrone Chan for that easy And you know, that is sometimes the problem of uh, Kelly Nabong. He is looking the other way. Yeah, that's right. And that's really a matter of communication uh, on the defensive end for Davao. Binyan is currently at the number one spot, while Davao is currently at the number six spot. Uh, Noy as Helter Brand will miss on the three attempt. He gets it back, and he gives it to Manalang. There's the cut by Pinaridondo. Manalang for three, and he gets it from downtown. So that's going to be a key recruit here for uh, Coach Boyd Fernandez. Manalang, I think, only his fourth game playing for uh, Binyan, but will be added firepower. Kelly Nabong from the outside. Bam Bam saving it. Justin Sanchez with the ball. Bam Bam asking for it. Shot clock at nine. Tyron Chan defending. Bam Bam with a move. He will not get the two points. He gets it back. He gives it to Ryan Costello for the layup. Using the glass. Rebounded by J.J. Holterbrand. But despite getting multiple possessions right there, uh, Davao not unable to convert. J.J. Holterbrand guarded by Ryan Costello. Tyron Chan, you cannot leave him wide open. He is dangerous if he's open. Pinari Dondo can score from the outside also. Here is Tyron Chan. Outside we go to JJ. Very short on the three attempt. Everybody by Kelly Nabong. Yeah, but that's really a shot that you want to set up uh, JJ Helterbrand for those uh, three pointers. Kelly Nabong will not take it, but he can score. The drive inside. Tony Enot with four points here in the first period. All of a sudden, Tony Enot upon receiving the basketball, just a quick first step. Just left the defense in the dust. And Tony Enoch averaged 10 points a game. He is their number two scorer here uh, for the Davao Occidental Tigers as Chan misses the three attempt, rebounded by Tony Enoch. See uh, Davao trying to push the pace right away. Sanchez with the no look pass inside to Bam Bam Gamalinda. Foul is called on Tyron Chan. That's a good foul there by Tyron Chan. F fouling Justin Sanchez right away, eliminating that basket for uh, Bam Bam. The Tigers shooting two of uh, six from the field here in the uh, first uh, period. Now Gamalinda, Kelly Nabo misses the three-pointer earlier. Outside to Tony Enoch. Here is Justin Sanchez who loves to operate in tight spaces and in heavy traffic. And uh, right now we're seeing Davao trying to test the interior of uh, Binyan. Of course, KG Canileta available to play for uh, Binyan today. These two guys, these two young kids, Tony Enoch and uh, Justin Sanchez will play for the College of St. Benil come uh, NCAA Season 100. And uh, their teammates actually playing for SGA right now. Kalinabong, his second rebound of the game. 6.45 to go. Sanchez with the fake. He goes inside. That was a tight one, and he will score again. And again, like you said, he likes to operate in uh, tight spaces, and Justin Sanchez just uh, overpowering yeah. his defender that time. Just like our game yesterday, you were operating in heavy traffic <laughs> when we were playing at the Field Oil Eco Center. <laughs> Outside, Tyron Chan, guarded by Kelly Nabong, trying to create space, and he gets the two points over Kelly Nabong. Tyron Chan trying to be more of an offensive threat whenever he puts the ball on the floor. More oh. known as an, a spot-up shooter, itong si Tyron. Foul is called on Helter Brand, his first personal and that'll be the first team foul. Let's take a look at this move by uh, Tyron Chan. Look at that uh, space creation there by Tyron Chan. A beautiful spin move, and he left uh, uh, Kelly Nabong there. Inside to Justin Sanchez, and it goes out of bounds. That was a good pass there by Kelly Nabong. A good idea there, but uh, a little wide on the pass for Justin Sanchez. Turnover for Davao. There is early. Binyan is shooting three out of seven from the field. They are down by one point as Chan will try his luck from the outside and he misses the three attempt. Tony Enoch inside pass, deflected out of bounds by Tyron Chan. 
quick hands there by Tyron Chan. Yeah, but uh, Tony Inot should have probably taken that shot or maybe pulled it out and have that uh, offense reset. What if Dava will win in this game? Uh, Noy as Bamba misses on the two-pointer. Kelly Nabo inside. He operates, finds space, going glass and will score. And uh, Dava right now with a victory here gives them a chance to finish at number five, but that will be really... Uh, dependent on that Quezon Caloocan game that we will have uh, on Saturday, while for Binyan, a victory here will assure them of the number one spot. Yeah, you will not be my partner because you will be leaving for Hong Kong <laughs> come Saturday night. Binyan Redondo for three. That was a tight one, and he will miss it. Sanchez into the hands of Ryan Costello. Stops and pops and will score. Ryan Costello, whenever needed to score, he couldn't put those uh, points on the basket. Uh, on the board right away, but uh, you know, he's more of a playmaker for Coach Manu. 14 of the 24, Enoch guarding Manalang. We have a foul away from the ball. Foul will go on Costello for trying to deny position on Joseph Peña Redondo. And we saw earlier the head coach of the Davao Occidental Tigers, uh, Coach Manu Inigo, two player substitution for the Binyan Tatak Gel. Uh, motors, uh, Beast Motorcycle Tires Game X, a very long name because of the sponsors of Binyan. That's right. And we so. have uh, Carlo Lastimosa and uh, JJ Pido seeing action here for Binyan. They are down in this uh, uh, quarter, Noy. And that's why they're bringing in Carlo Lastimosa to hopefully spark the offensive uh, of uh, Binyan. Shot clock, 10 seconds. JJ Pido working against the taller Justin Sanchez. Picked up by Manalang. Three to fire. Now it's two. Now it's one. Catch and shoot. And it's a 24-second shot clock violation. The first here in this game. Actually, they're calling a foul. Oops. On, I think, Tyrone Chan. Uh, basket. Uh, the shot by, by Tiong was uh, just in time, but uh, Tyrone Chan caught reaching in. So it was a loose ball foul on Tyrone Chan. He will be replaced by... Uh, Jay Marimpayan, a good hustle player, can do rebounds, can defend also. Mr. Nonsense. And, uh, you know, he's just a very athletic uh, forward that's playing for Coach Boyet. Quick move there to the baseline by uh, Tony Enot. Fouled by J.J. Pido, his first personal and the fourth team foul for Binyan. Well, we were talking earlier about the versatility of J. Margimpayan, Michael Cañete. You know, he's really just doing everything, uh, whatever role is given to him here in Davao. And so far, it's given Davao a lot of success. <coughs> Davao defeated Miss Orr in the last game, 75-68. Uh, well, that game uh, was close until uh, Davao took the lead with 7.25 left in the fourth and never, just never gave it up. Tony Eno just scored seven points in that ball game. Jay Marimpai and he gives it to uh, Bai Chong. You know, it's very hard to defend Bai Chong inside because he's big. He can bully you. And uh, can easily create space underneath. Just throwing his weight around that time, Kelly Nabong could not do anything. And on Teco in the game now for the Davao Occidental Tigers. Michael Cañete will score. Oh, we talk about tight spaces, heavy traffic, and this guy, he is number one for me. And uh, Michael Cañete does, doesn't really do anything flashy, but uh, very effective yeah. on the floor. Bounce pass inside. And Jamar misses on the layup. Ryan Costello, misdirection. The outside shot, no goal. Rebound controlled by Davo. It goes out of bounds. The offensive rebound there by Tony Enoch. But if you look at this lineup of uh, Davo, they're very versatile. You can switch every, almost everything on the defensive end. And they've been getting a lot of rebounds based on their athleticism and really just a nose for the ball. Kurt Lohera in action here with June Manzo will play the point guard spot, uh, Kurt Lujera, the number two spot, replacing uh, Tony Enoch. Still really a lot of activity on the guard spot. 
having guys like Lojera and Manzo who can put points on the board. Three minutes and 34 seconds on tackle. He will be called for the traveling violation. It goes back. The ball goes back to uh, uh, Binyan. That's not really the game of uh, Ong Tenko. It's really more of a stretch, a big for Davao in that time, trying to post up Baityong. Medyo mahirap because of, of the wide body of uh, Alvin Baityong. Carlo Lastimosa played big against Kalaokan in his last game. Pamboy gets by Jun Manzo. The floater did not go in. The offensive rebound by Gimpay, and that's what I'm talking about. You know, just uh, really hyper activity on the side of J. Mark Gimpay, and he's just going to continue to work. And, you know, th that work rate of him has given his team a lot of opportunities. Uh, J. Mark Gimpay shot 50% uh, from the field in their game versus Kalaokan. He was 4 of 8, finished the game with 9 points. He usually comes off the bench. You know, he's averaging six points and four rebounds on a very efficient 61% uh, from the field. And, you know, he's really very selective with his shots, gets most of his points, uh, you know, right under the rim. And uh, they will let uh, Onteco change his get up. It is maybe because of the undershirt, the white undershirt. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took it off. Uh, you, we saw CJ Katapusan uh, also doing it. Gimpaya and the first uh, free throw is good. He was one out of four from the free throw line in this game versus the Kalookan Supremos. From the line, he misses the second free throw recovered by Binyan outside to Carlo Lastimosa. Gets by his defender. It goes out of bounds. Last touch, Michael Maestri. And once again, making the stop, Michael Caniete. You know, the versatility of this guy. Just really very effective on both ends of the floor. See the rebounding story, Davao, with an early lead. 11-6 to six against Binyan. Nice pass by Flores. And a miss there by... Una blocking foul called on Michael Cañete. See right there, very quick to get back on defense. It's, oh, it's number 24. Here, uh, that's uh, Kurt Lojera. But uh, they give up the foul here. As you see right there on the reach, Lojera will be called for the foul. It's number 24. So they will. Are they going to correct it? So it's still, it's still Lujera. I don't know about that call, uh, Noy. Yeah, but uh, the referees was might a judgment have had call. a better angle than we have. And that's why Kurt Lujera is quite surprised to the call made by the officials as Mike Maestre will score at the line, a proud UV player from the University of the Visayas. Mike Maestri there at the line. Well, he played. Uh, he was playing good here for Binyan. Michael Maestri inside we go to Michael Cañete. It rims out. Una will miss on the follow up shot rebounded by Michael Maestri. A good defensive stop there for Binyan. Pamboy Raimundo working against Michael Cañete. Two minutes and ten remaining. Maestre, Carlo Lastimosa, seven to shoot. Taken away by Kurt Lojera. Michael crossing the timeline. June Manzo is free for three right on target. June Manzo from downtown. And uh, June Manzo in their last four games has been averaging 12 points. On a 50% shooting from the three-point area. And in his last uh, five games, he averaged almost nine points a game. By the way, the Davao Occidental Tigers on an eight-game winning streak. Raimundo rises up for two. Maestri with his second rebound, and he is fouled by his former teammate, June Manzo. But also, you're seeing here from... Uh Pamboy Raimundo trying to be more aggressive on the offensive end, trying to be more of an offensive threat. But unfortunately, still no points so far in this game. 
Now we go to Andrea Veloso, our uh, courtside reporter. Andrea? Speaking of Jun Manzo, he experienced being handled by Binyan head coach Boyet Fernandez. And he knows how competitive and great coach Boyet is. Sabi nga niya, lahat ng nahahawakan at dumadaan kay coach Boyet gumagaling sa laro. Even though he feels a little bit pressured in this game, he's also excited to show Binyan and coach Boyet his fighting spirit and his growth as a player. Sandy and Coach Roy. You know, uh, Coach Boyet uh, Fernandez, we saw him earlier talking to the officials. He's an animated coach. Oh, he's there you really see. He's always working the referees, but of course, Coach Boyd likes those uh, point guards who can operate in the pick and roll uh, very efficiently. And uh, no surprise that he, he probably did like Jun Manzo playing for him. A champion in the collegiate ranks and in the pros. Our PSL fans here inside the Alonte Sports Arena in Binyan Laguna. Flores intercepted by Carlo Lastimosa, Jamar. Mike Maister with a beautiful move inside. Jay Martin Pye knew that he should have given up the ball earlier, but still Maestre able to finish. Jun Manzo. Una. Free for two. That's good. And given the wide open shot, James Una able to knock it down. Well, I don't see. KG Canaleta there on the bench of uh, Bignani will not be playing in this game. J.J. Pido. He drops it to Gimpayan and he is fouled. Jamar will go to the line for the second time in this game. That's actually a good matchup to watch out for. Gimpayan versus yep. Una, both of whom are very athletic and very long limbs. And again, uh, Jamar will go to the free throw line, his second in this game. Well, you know, for both teams, more than, uh, you know, aside from the obvious of trying to improve in the team standings, both of the coaches really just stress stressing the importance of winning their last game, hoping to build that momentum and, uh, you know, heading into the playoffs. He averages six points a game, four rebounds a game here in the President's Cup. This is. These two teams, this will be their first and final meeting here in the regular season. Come playoffs, they will be uh, paired to different opponents and we'll wait for the result. And the ball goes out of bounds. Where is this going? It's going to be Binyan basketball. And the uh, Davao of Benz reacting. Actually, if uh, Binyan ends up at number one and uh, Davao ends up at number five, they could actually be on a collision course to play each other in the semifinals. Oh. Mike Maestre finds trouble inside. A quick pass to Jamar. Nice pass by Michael Maestre. Good presence of mind, Jamar Gimpayan was able to score. Look at this play. Just in time, Gimpayan beating the horn. 20 for the Tigers, 18 for Binyan. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. The Davao Occidental Tigers ahead by two points. A very close ball game we have here. If the playoffs will start today, Noi, this is the scenario. You can see right here on the left side of your screen, Binyan will take on RCP while I'm still looking for... Uh, Davao here. Davao will be going up against uh, Miss Orr. So a possible collision course for them in the semifinals. As you see, Mark Pingris, who has really not been able to play for quite some time. In, uh, Vice Mayor Jel Alonte, the team owner of the uh, Binyan Tatak Gel Beast Motorcycle Tires Game X. That's a very I long name. I have to perfectly say it in order for me to get paid. 
You see the first quarter field goals. Davao is 9 out of 18 for a high 50%. 6 out of 18 for Binyan, 33%. Kurt Lohera with a move inside. First two points for Kurt Lohera. Let's take a look at the bench points for both teams, Noy. And uh, when you look at the bench points, uh, so far it's 9 points apiece for both teams. The Tigers led by as many as seven points. Michael Maestre would go inside. And Michael Maestre just taking advantage of the additional minutes that he's getting, especially the absence of KG Canileta. And Binyan led by as many as three points. Lead changes three, one deadlock. Lastimosa will score on the layup. Finally. The Tanis ball game at 22 also. We, uh, th this will be the second time that we are tied. Finally, Carlo Lassimosa able to score his first two points. CJ outside, he misfires. Rebounded by Michael Maestre. JJ Pito, he backs off, looking for a friend, finds Pamboy Raimundo. Gimpayan provides the screen. He is fouled by June Manzo for holding him. Actually, they're calling the foul uh, on trying to prevent Gimpayan from rolling to the basket. This is the action uh, a moment ago as Carlo Lastimosa will go all the way. His first two points of the game. In the open court, really a tough player to stop. Five seconds remaining at the shot clock. Carlo with a spin. Nowhere to go inside in heavy traffic. Bounce pass to June Manzo. Three on one situation. And it goes out of bounds. Flores was not ready to receive that pass. Noy. We saw a lot of uh, tight passes on that sequence uh, as Carlo Lasimosa tried to bail out of that spin move. And on the other side, Manzo, uh, too tight of a pass right there, but they do keep possession. We are tied at 22, all the second deadlock of the game. Onteco will score inside to break the eyes and Dava ahead by two. I did say earlier, not really the specialty of Onteco to be operating inside, but that time just got great position able to score off the much shorter Maestre. And a great look there by Tony Enot, recognizing the mismatch there. And uh, Ongteco was able to score and a three-point uh, play here. And he will try to complete the three-point play. And yes, Ongteco completes the play, 25-22. Well, it's been very efficient from the line in the season, 85.7% from the free throw line. Carola Stimosa, he is number four in scoring for this team in his, in his last five games. He averaged eight points a game. Gimpayan, nice rebound there. Big rebound, I can say, Noy. And you know, Gimpayan will keep on working, uh, able to slither inside with that uh, very wide frame, those long limbs helping him grab those offensive rebounds. That is his value with this team, uh, Binyan. Jaymar Gimpayan, I've seen him so many times. Is a good rebounder, but sometimes he can score also. But, you know, too many scorers for Binyan, uh, Noy. And that's why you have to find your role. And uh, Gimpayan Yeah, he's knows. a role player. As Definitely. we see Mark Pingris, you know, one of the best rebounders in the pros. And, uh, you know, he gets to mentor the younger guys like uh, J. Mark Gimpayan. But... Ah, what a shot there by Mike. Be Talk like Mike. Talk about rebounding. Ongteco, he sends it to Costello, the three by C.J. Catapusa. Started playing uh, elementary basketball at St. Louis in Lapu-Lapu City in Cebu. And missed a lot of games for Davao coming from the, the United States. Yeah, he visited his mother and brother there. He stayed there for three weeks as Michael Maestri will go inside and the ball goes out of bounds. It will stay with Binyan. Right now, it's uh, going to be a defensive battle for both teams. 28 to 25. Coach Boya talking to the officials again. We'll be right back. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton. Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. 
You are still watching Filipina Super League President's Cup at kasama ko nga ngayon ang ating PSL Super Fan Al. Al, good evening. Sino ba ang sinusuportahan mo ngayong gabi? Binyan Tadakgel. Any specific player na gusto mong masuportahan ngayon? Si Kenny Roger uh, Roco Corba. Yung idol ko. Meron ka bang gusto sabihin sa Binyan at kay Kenny ngayon? Uh, good luck sa game. Ngayon lang. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alan. Enjoy the rest of this game. Back to you, Sandy and Coach Noy. Well, I don't see Kenny Rogers or Kakurva in the bench. But, uh, yeah, I, I, there he is. With the oh, hoodie. Yeah, yeah, with the hoodie. Yeah. You know, the guy from the island of Camotes, a superstar player here for Binyan. Number five in scoring for the team. You know, this team is super stuck. Yep, uh, yep. Sometimes we don't recognize uh, the stars not, being, not having played just yet. Mike, oh, just in the nick of time, and he was not able to score a 24-second shot clock violation. Just, uh, but th th really that was a good drawn play there yeah, by that's right. and that's Coach right. really, Boyd. Really frustrating for Coach Boyd coming off a timeout, not able to convert the uh, uh, running out of time. 7:05 to go, 28 to 25. On tackle. Good cover there by Mike Maestre, J.J. Pido, met Mike Kurt Loera. Mike with a move, beautiful reverse, using his left hand off the glass. Very effective, Mike Maestre out of nowhere, scoring nine points coming off the bench for Binyan. Kurt Loera on tackle, thinking three, he changed his mind. Tony Enot will not change his mind. He throws up the three, won't work. You're expecting Binyan to try and slow down the pace here. JJ, he swings it to Carlo for three. Mike Maestre is fouled after he got that offensive rebound. Foul is called on Onteco. Mike Maestre since coming in has really just been uh, providing a lot of positives for Coach Boyet Fernandez. Nine points and five rebounds. Jimbo Estrada in the game for the first time. Uh, you know this, this guy. Oh, definitely a, a natural-born scorer out of St. Clair, Caloocan, who recently transferred to the College of, uh, of Letran. Sorry. 28-27, J.J. Pito. Marvin Hayes also in the game for Binyan. And Jimbo Estrada coming out from the screen, and they just throw that ball away. And just imagine the luxury for Coach Boyd Fernandez, able to bring in a guy like Jim Boy Estrada with six minutes left in the second quarter. CJ. With a move, top shot, rebounded by Marvin Hayes. A veteran player for Binyan. Inside to Michael Maestre for two. And a good read there by J.J. Pido. Pido with a dish. You know, J.J. Pido just read, reading the defense there, and there was no Davo Occidental Tiger player downstairs. Look at this play. Kelly Nabo was looking the other way. And that's the second time we've said that, but uh, Jerry Pido also finding that uh, playmaker role for Coach Boyd Fernandez, as you see, finally, Kenny Rogers Rocacurva checking in. Yep. Intercepted by Ryan Costello. No look pass. CJ with a strong move inside. Tony, why not? With a good feed. A great touch pass there for Tony Enot. And uh, Ryan Costello did not like the call, but it is always uh, the final call. You cannot challenge it. You barely well, we have a, a coach's ch challenge. One every coach's in every game, and that's the pass by Eno to CJ Katapusan, who scored in transition. Fast break points, Noy. Fast break points so far. Uh, it's going both teams absolute four points each. Estrada, Kenny Rogers, Ruka Curva. By Chong, back in the game. And Kenny Rogers making his presence felt by scoring that two points underneath using the glass. Instant offense coming off the bench. Kenny Rokurva on the off-ball movement able to get himself open. A very close ball game we have here. Noi Africa 31-30. Binyan ahead by one. 
And Michael Maestre exploding in this game. 11 points, five rebounds, and one assist. And right now, they're not necessarily missing the services of KG Canileta with the improved play of uh, Michael Maestre. And a warning on the bench of Davao for resenting to a call. They are just giving a life to that bench that is plastic. Kenny Rogers puts the move. Slow motion drive. Oh! Ho, ho! Nice shot there by Kenny Rogers. Ruka Kurva splitting no, the defense. No space too narrow for Kenny Rogers. Ruka Kurva. Kelly Nabo. 4 3. Got it! Well, that was a shot that early in his career he did not really have the confidence to take, in, but right now he's been very effective from the three point area. So Kelly Nabo, through the years of playing, he improved his shot from the outside. Tied at 33. Estrada creating space. He misses, rebounded by Tony Enoch. Back to Tony. Working against J.J. Pito. Outside to Kelly. He swings it to C.J. The extra pass to Sanchez. For three! Pang! 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 Love, love seeing that kind of ball movement from the Davo Occidental Tigers. Passing up good shots for even better shots. 36 to 33. Three and a half to go. Too many threes here. And Sanchez with a rebound. He is fouled by, by Tiong. Number 51. Yeah, 51. Look at that. Unselfish play there by the Davao Occidental Tigers. In their first, what, four games? You cannot see that one. And, uh, you know, the gelling has really just, this team coming together has been, uh, has really made them more dangerous uh, in the midst of an eight game winning streak. You know, you. The team will be more dangerous if you pass the ball around, if you share the ball around. As Kelly Navo misses on the three attempt, he is one out of three from the three-point range. Kenny Rogers, he gives it to Pamboy. Taken away by Ryan Costello. Kelly Navo with a penetration, he throws it up, and yes, basketball count in one. Funny how he was trying to sidestep out of the way of uh, Alvin Baitiong, but the wide body of Baitiong created uh, that contact right there. You know, I ask you about, uh, well, we were talking about the size of Baitiong. He's a tough defender downstairs. He, he is an immovable force, by the way. That's right, and you see Kelly Nabong, that's why he used look at that. the one-two the one step to create some separation and uh, hopefully uh, not get into the way of uh, Alvin Baitio, oh. but a little bit of movement <laughs> on the A contact. little nudge. Mm -hmm. So Kelly Nabong is at the line. He is number five in scoring in their last five games. He averaged uh, 10 points. I make that uh, eight points. Kelly Nabong completes the three-point play. Kelly Nabong has really... Uh, found his uh, role here. He's pretty much one of the leaders for Davao Occidental Tigers. JJ Pito, too strong off the glass. And a strong challenge there, but a foul will go on Kelly Nabong. That will only be his first. In their last five games, the Binyan Tatak Gel Game X lost once against the San Juan Kings go for gold, they defeated the Caloacan Supremos, the Navaliches QC Warriors, the, the Young Guns SJC SB Blazers, and the NKT Snipers. Yeah. Well, the Caloacan Supremos, it was a total beatdown, 84 to 69. Well, ever since uh, that loss to the San Juan Kings, they've been uh, in that three-game win streak. They've, the average winning margin for them has been 20 points para sa binyan. While for the side of Davao, after that loss to Kalookan, uh, the average winning margin for them is 15 points. Mm -hmm. Although the last three have been very close, just a five-point margin on the average. 
And uh, J.J. Pito is at the free throw line. Perfect from the field in their game versus the Caloocan Supremos. Three out of three shooting. And he finished the game with nine points. And uh, did not go to the free throw line in their, in, in their game versus uh, the Caloocan Supremos. Thirty-nine to thirty-five. Two minutes and forty-one seconds remaining in the first half. We are glad that you can join us. You're watching the PSL Presidents Cup 2024, the uh, final week of the elimination round. Ryan Costello outside to Justin Sanchez. Bam Bam short on the release. Peter Rogers looking ahead. Marvin Hayes spins his way inside, too strong. Battle for the rebound, won by Tony Eno, behind the back dribble. Tony Eno with a strong move. It was like the Red Sea opening. That's right, and uh, no ball stopped there for Binyan, allowing Tony Eno to get all the way to the rim. And this guy is still a college player that will play for the College of St. Benil come season 100 of the NCAA. Now together with uh, Justin Sanchez. And he is playing big time already. By Chong misses inside. Marvin Hayes takes care of it and will get the two points. Another one of those players who loves to operate in tight spaces. Marvin Hayes really more on the floor for defensive purposes. 41-37. Tony Eno with a quick pass to Bam Bam Gamalinda. Ryan Costello, Gamalinda with a one-handed shot, that's good. He gets by his defender, the primary defender of Bam Bam Gamalinda was uh, Manalang. You know, uh, Bam Bam Gamalinda, although getting a little older in age, but uh, very wise and uh, knows how to use. I will not use the, the word uh, age. Aging <laughs> gracefully. <laughs> Binyan Tatak Gel scoring there as Dava will call a timeout. 43 to 39. Back in a moment. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton. Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. We are looking at the crowd inside the Alonte Sports Arena here in Binyan, Laguna. Experience the city of life, and that is called Binyan, Noi, Africa. But so far, they're going to need a lot more life as uh, they're currently down by four against the Dava Occidental Tigers. Our games on Saturday at the uh, uh, Phil Oil Eco Oil Center, Bicol Spicy Oregon, will take on the Navalichis QC Warriors at 6 p.m. This is a big one. The Quezon Titans versus the Caloocan Supremos. Our main game, the Nueva Ecija Capitals, will take on the San Juan Kings Go for Gold. It's the battle for the number one spot. Yeah, actually, those last two games will pretty much seal who will be occupying the top four spots in the tournament as uh, Quezon and Caloocan will pretty much battle for the number four spot. Tony, yes! Tony, you know, showing that he can score in so many ways earlier on a penetration. This time, knocking it down from three. 45 to 39. By Chong, good strip there by Kelly Namong. <laughs> and look at the frustration of, uh, you can't read it in his face, uh, by Chong. Good defense by Kelly Namong. Well, they're really trying to attack the defense of Kelly Namong, and uh, that time, not a good idea for Alvin by Tiong. Tony Eno. Bamba puts the move, looking for a friend, finds Tony Eno outside. Back to Bam Bam for three, yes! And the versatility at Twitch. Uh, Bam Bam Gamalinda can put the ball in the basket. Really going to be a problem here for Binyan. You know, Tony Enoch is very fast and quick. And you will not know what he will do with that basketball. Three seconds. Yes! Jim Boya Stata scoring from the outside. 
And 41, uh, 49 to 41 is the count. Big game for uh, Tony Enoch. 10 points, four rebounds, and four assists. And our super move of the game brought to us by Dumper Party List. This is Tony Enoch with the behind the back dribble. He will go inside. Strong move by the young man from Cebu. 10 points, four rebounds, and five assists. This is our Dumper Super Move of the Game, brought to us by Dumper Party List. We'll be right back with more action. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. Ito po ay si Aludo Rota Chuseco, Undersecretary of the Department of Finance, na ko po kayong anyayahan na manood ng Cabinet at Work at IBC every Monday at 4 p.m. Please watch Cabinet at Work uh, every Monday at 4 p.m. IBC 13. Sa akin pong mga kababayan, kayo po ay uh, mainit at malugod kong inaanyayahan na atin pong sundan, panoorin at tunghayan po ito pong cabinet at work. Uh, ito po ay ating mapapanood alas 4 ng hapon tuwing lunes. Tuwing lunes po, tandaan nyo. At ito po ay nasa IBC 13. Sana po ay uh, inyo pong subaybayan, tunghayan sapagkat makakakuha po kayo dito ng mga informasyon na magiging kapaki-pakinabang po para sa po sa bawat isa. Aasahan ko po kayo. Cabinet at Work, tuwing lunes, ikaapat ng hapon sa IBC 13. Is top 5 leaders in blocks? Sino yung tapal king ng Davao Occidental Tigers Coco Life? No? Nag-a-average siya ng 1.1 blocks per game. A. Kelly Nabong B. Justin Bieber C. Justin Sanchez Letter C. Justin Sanchez Sugurado ka na si Justin Sanchez? Yes, sir. Hindi si Kelly Nabong? At tama ang iyong sagot. So, meron ka ngayong uh, PSL mug. Uh, pakita mo na ko ni PSL mug. At syempre, specialty men's hygiene soap from Topcock. Alright, thank you very much, sir Ed. Shout out, sino yung shout out mo, yung mga kabayan sa kabinti? Yes, yes. Ah, uh, good luck sa buong team ng Binyan. Okay. W wala, wala kang babatiin na taga kabinti? Wala, wala. <laughs> okay. So, enjoy the game. Salamat po sa pagsali, Sir Ed. Okay. Hey, Hoop fans! Welcome to the President's Cup 2024 Top 10 Plays of the Week. Let's dive straight into the action. Starting with number 10. At number nine. Inside. Goy will Mark score. Him. And he cuts down the lead to one. But it will be a three-point play. So a possible uh, a bonus free throw here. Top eight. Santo. What a play. Cap Cometa slides in. Basket in one. Cap Cometa fighting the points here in the fourth quarter. Making it on seven. This Guy can also score! Yes, sir! And that is a four point play for Gordon Lamar. Late close out from Mitchell Matsa. I did not second guess because I know he will take Sliding into number six. Goes inside for the layup. Basket counts in one. A good recognition by Kenny Nabong off the dive to Bam Bam Gamalinda. Meron na silang mismatch. One shot fade, nakashoot na ng tatlo to. And yung pagdiretsyo, sabit. Through at number five. It's two. Catch and shoot. And oh, yes! Yes! Dagger. Yes! Dagger. Kula from downtown. And look at uh, Harold Arboleda. That's a three-pointer from Yossi Koga. 
cracking into the top four. Whoa, what an escape. You know, it's like a big fan favorite even here in Kalaokan. Podium time at number three. Inside we go. He has in the air and what a move by Orlan Lamar. Great adjustment in mid-air by Orlan Lamar and his green band aid on the face. At number two. Shot clock down to five. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How did he make that shot? I don't know why he's in more. Great defense played by Kalaokan, just better offense for Jim Boy. And the top play of the week. Kavera with a slam! Punctuating this onslaught by the Quezon Titans. Kavera, so in here, so a slam dunk, huh? Paborito ni sa akin. Yun nga eh. That's a wrap for our top 10 plays of the week. Stay tuned for more basketball brilliance. And until next time, keep the hoop spirit alive. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton. Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. We are back here inside the Alonte Sports Arena here in Binyan, Laguna. My name is Sandy Grumo. My partner here is uh, Noi Africa. Our courtside reporter is uh, Andrea Viloso. Let's take a look at some highlights back in the first half. Michael Maestre, big game so far for him. Kelly Nabong working downstairs. Look at that move by Kelly Nabong. That's right, and uh, you know, it was a very close in the first quarter, both teams uh, scoring heavily 20 to 18. While in the second quarter, it was Davao uh, taking the advantage 29 to 23. And uh, if you know, um, the three point shot really working for Davao, as you see right there, six out of 10 from the three point area, as a good ball movement, giving them some open looks from the perimeter, one out of eight for the Binyan Tatak Gel. And also the bench points going the way of Binyan, 30 to 17, and that's why they've managed to still put uh, Dava within striking distance and, and also the second chance points. That's where they've been getting a lot of their points, outscoring Davao 9 to 2. And the highlights of our leading scorers here, Tony Enot, 10 points, 4 rebounds and 5 assists back in the first half. Really just trying to do everything for uh, Coach Manu Inigo, Winston, Enot, uh, even hitting a three-pointer earlier. Just uh, also trying to facilitate while on the other end, a surprise uh, production coming from Mike Maestre coming off the bench in the absence of KG Canileta, able to lead this team in scoring already with 11 points, as you see right there. Maestre with 11, Gimpayan with 7, Manalang with 5, Baitiong with 4 for Binyan. While for Davao, it's the usual suspects. Winston Enot with 10, Nabong with 8, Justin Sanchez with 7, and Bam Gamalinda with 5 points. So we are set to go here, the third quarter action here inside the Alonte Sports Arena. The uh, Binyan Tatak Jail Game X. Uh, Beast Motorcycle Tires, number one in coming into this ball game. Let's take a look at the team standings here now. See once again, Binyan with a victory here will lock up that number one spot, having already defeated Nueva Ecija in their lone matchup in the eliminations. While Adabao looking to improve on their number six standing, they will be able to get to five if they win here. And uh, as you see, Binyan again will be facing RCP in the first round if the playoffs started today while Dava will go up against the Miss Or Mustangs which is also a very interesting matchup. But what is the rank of the Miss Or Mustangs? Well, uh, right now they're at 11 or 12. 
And of course, uh, the higher seeded teams will have that twice to beat advantage in the first and second round, while the semifinals will be a best of three yeah. and the finals will be a best of five. Noy Africa counting with his mind. I love that. 49 to 41, we are just underway. You really love putting me on the spot. Sanchez draws the double coverage, finds Bam Bam Gamalinda outside. Tony Enoch, Gamalinda with three to spare for two. And he will get the very kind bounce. That was a difficult shot there for uh, Bam Bam Gamalinda. You could see a smile on his face after getting lucky and hitting on that shot. And Bam Bam Gamalinda with seven points already. Intercepted by Tony Enoch. Sanchez with the extra feed to Bam Bam. Find space, comes up empty inside. He will go to the free throw line. You can see there the footwork for Bamam Gamalinda. See, not really the best of execution right there in the fast break, but Coach Boyet not happy. No emotions at all. But no emotions, but you can see that he's not very happy. You know, before that move of Bamam Gamalinda, we saw how Davao shared the ball. Yeah, and that has really been an advantage for them. And the gelling uh, for them has really created this eight-game winning streak, yep. which they're trying to push to nine with a victory here. You know, in the last uh, eight games for Davao, they've been averaging 91 points per game. After they were defeated by the Caloca Supremos, they defeated all their eight opponents. This will be their ninth. Can Rogers, Mike, oh, with a tough move inside. Pinarindondo gets it and will score on the follow-up shot. And that's one of the problems here for Davo. They're allowing uh, Binyan some multiple shots at the basket. Another second chance point for Binyan, already 11 in the game. Costello for three, and he gets it from downtown. And that is the problem on the other end for Binyan that three-point shot has really been hurting them already seven made threes for Davao and Ryan Costello with five points that was his first three-point field goal Kenny Rogers he can score anytime if he wants to Pinaridondo high looping three-point shot rebounded by Kelly Nabong taken away and intercepted by Kenny Rogers Nice screen by Michael Maestre. Battle for the rebound. Won by Justin Sanchez. Bam Bam Gamalinda. Quick pass to Tony. You know, he returned the favor. After some unproductive sequences for both teams that time, Davo able to push the basketball. Bam Gamalinda finding uh, Tony Inot uh, attacking down middle. That's uh, the uh, fifth field goal of Tony Enot. Luka Kurwa draws the double coverage. Michael Maestre. Tony Enoch. Defending Michael Maestre. We saw the mismatch there, but uh, Binyan unable to capitalize on that. Michael Maestre throws the ball away. Good defense there by Tony Enoch. You can see Coach Boyet trying to look for answers. They've been outscored 9-2 to two here in this quarter. That lead has ballooned to 15. Bam Bam thought he was fouled. He was looking for it. And there were no calls by the officials. JJ, by the way, is back in the game. Starting here in the third period. Kenny Rogers momentarily open. JJ is free. 4 3, and it rims out like a toilet that didn't flush. By Chong, the retrieval. Kenny Rogers for three. Bang! Their sets are not working, and uh, whenever you get a broken play, you give the ball to Kenny Rogers Rocacurva, who has really been uh, very consistent in scoring for Binyan. Bam Bam for three, and yes, he scores from downtown. That's already 12 points for Bam Bam Gamalinda, sharing uh, top scoring honors for Davao with Winston Enoch. This is a better game for Bam Bam Gamalinda playing extended minutes here. And Binyan just 
throws the ball away. 61 to 46. This is the largest lead of the game, Noy. And fourth turnover right there, and <laughs> still expressionless is Coach Boyd Fernandez. Usually, you'd see him already I'm, I'm, screaming. I'm, the first time I've seen him like that. <laughs> yeah, and they're down big here in the third quarter. Picked up by Kenny Rogers through curva. One of the best one-on-one -on -one players, but uh, Tony Enot, one of the best uh, uh, guards here. And Kelly Nabong will score over the smaller J.J. Holterbrand. Just bullying his way underneath. Nothing uh, J.J. could do right there. As you see once again on the miss by Tony Enot, able to collect the rebound, turning garbage into gold. And look at that. There were only two black shirts there defending that transition offense by the Davao Occidental Tigers. Andrea Veloso, what do you have? Coach Boyet is ready to show that tough love when it's needed during the halftime huddle. He said to his team, Hindi kayo yan, guys. If you have that complacent mindset and attitude, you are not part of my team. Dagdag pa nga niya, hindi dahil wala ang kanilang key player na si Cataleta at King Reese ay pwede na silang magpabaya. He motivated his team with the words, kung gusto niyo, mananalo kayo. He doesn't care about the stats of the game because all he cares about is their mentality and how they will play this game in a smart way this next half. Sandy and Coach Noy. And Kelly Nabong. With a rebound, it goes out of bounds. And, uh, right now, Coach Boyd probably needs tougher love if he... Tough love, yeah. If he wants his team to come back right here. But so far, you know, the one guy who has been showing a lot of effort for them is uh, Mike Maestre, and that's why he's still on the floor for Binyan. Michael Cañete back in the game. And also June Manzo. Kelly Navong is free. 4-3. Bang! Well, on the other end, the offense of Davao just free-flowing. The assist numbers so far for them, 20 against the 12 of uh, Binyan. That is the second triple for uh, Kelly Navong. Two of uh, five shooting here. In this game, J.J. Pito guarded by the taller, Justin Sanchez. Kenny Rogers, he's a shot creator, and a point, good one-on-one -on -one player. And at this point, uh, they're better served just giving the ball to Kenny Rogers and everybody just getting out of the way. As you see right there on the kick out, Kenny Rogers just attacking on the left side, his dominant side able to score despite the challenge by Michael Cañete. 66 to 48, Kenny Rogers, Luka Curva from the island of Camotes. A Bisaya playing here in the Pro League, the PSL, and he's one of the uh, favorite players here for Binyan. The uh, crowd, the people here in Binyan loves this guy. And uh, But definitely he needs to do a lot more if he wants his team to get back in this ball game. 15 of the 24. Kurt Loera. Kelly Nabong creating space for three. Loera. Rebounded by Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers goes downhill. He is fouled by Olayon. Well, right now, that uh, Binyan offense has been just primarily giving the ball to Kenny Rogers and letting him operate. And uh, this is something that you don't always see from a Boyet Fernandez uh, coach team. You know, first half was very close. Seven lead changes and four deadlocks. <coughs> now uh, the Dapa Occidental Tigers, they're ahead big time, 66 to 49. Kenny Rogers will not score, though, but he will go to the line. He was fouled. You can just see Rokokorva just looking for that runway from which he can take off. And able to fish another foul. We saw Kelly Namo removing the hat of their utility guy. Get <laughs> <laughs> Rogers Ruka Kurva, his second trip to the line here in the third period. Yeah. 
Well, more than anything, the problem here for Davao is on the defensive end. And, uh, you know, they're allowing Davao to a very high 57% from the field. And definitely not something that Coach Boyd will be happy about. Jun Manzo and the steal by Ken Rogers. Luca Curva finds a teammate. And Pamboy Raimundo scoring there in transition. A good find by Kenny Rogers. A little bit of headway here for Binyan, cutting the lead down to 14. I love your mathematics, Noy. 66 to 52, 317 to go. Michael Maestre takes care of it. Bai Tiong is ahead. He fakes. He is fouled. And for a while, I thought it was a clean block by Olayon. But the referee saw it a foul. Mano Inigo loves the action downstairs. Of course, uh, they're not allowing easy baskets for Binyan. You would have thought Baitiong would be going up for an easy two, but look at the effort there by Ulayon. However, fouling Baitiong uh, down low. Well, Baitiong in his game versus. Uh, uh, Kalaok and he scored uh, six points and was two of four from the field and two of five from the free throw line. Tyron Chan back in this game replacing Bai Tiong. Coach Boyd hoping that Tyron Chan can get hot from the outside and provide some heavy artillery for them to get back in this ball game. Third Lohera guarded by Manalang. Michael Cañete. Working inside, he throws it up, won't work. Picked up by J.J. Pido. Now Manzo defending. Pamboy outside. Pido. Picked up by Manalang, shot clock, nine seconds. Here is Tyrone, three, four, three, bang, bang, bang! That's what he's there for on the pick and pop. Tyron Chan able to knock it down. And Tyron Chan with his first three-point field goal here in the second half. Manalang seeing Tyron Chan wide open. And Chan cutting down the lead to 10 points, 50, uh, 66 to 56. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. You are still watching Filipina Super League President's Cup at kasama ko ngayon ang ating PSL Super Fan, Miss Grace. Miss Grace, good evening. Sino ba ang sinusuportahan mo ngayong gabi? Um, Davao Occidental po. Um, oh. Specifically kay JR Ong Teko. Ayan, meron ka bang message sa Davao at syempre kay Ong Teko? Um, sana tuloy-tuloy lang. Sana hanggang sa dulo, manalo tayo. Uh, sana wala ma-injury. Ma Thank you so much, Miss Grace, and enjoy the rest of the game. Back to you, Sandy and Coach Noy. Thank you very much, Andrea Veloso. Well, definitely, the Davao fans very happy at this point, although Binyan starting to gain some momentum. Uh, getting back into this ball game down by just 10. So Davao shooting 56% from the field here, 26 to 46. The biggest lead so far, Davao at a very high 20 points. Uh, biggest lead for Binyan early in the game, only three points. CJ is back in the game. The entry pass to Michael Cagnetti going glass. And that's another stop for Binyan. A close third quarter here. Davo scoring 17 points. Binyan scoring 15 points. Pomboy looking at the shot clock. He spins. He goes inside. He throws it up. Maisle with the offensive rebound. And the two points. This is his best game so far. And with that offensive rebound, that gives him a double-double. 13 points and 10 rebounds for this guy. You know, coming off the bench in the absence of uh, KG Canileta has really just been fantastic. Oh, they met in college back uh, in Cebu. 
many years ago when uh, CJ was playing for USC and Michael Maestri was playing for UV. They met in the finals and USC uh, was defeated by UV. Three games to one in the best of five series. Lead is down, now down to just seven. 66 to 59. Michael goes inside two points for him. So Michael uh, Cagnete with his second field goal of the game. Four points, one rebound, and one assist. This is his lowest scoring output. Oh, the three there by Pamboy Raimundo. The defense of Davo is really confused. They were really confused of what they were doing. There, a skirt will go inside. Nice block by Chan. And Michael Maestre step out of bounds. More importantly, the crowd is starting to get involved. As I was saying, uh, the defense of uh, Davao there, not good because they left an open player for Binyan to score from beyond the arc, and that's Pamboy Raimundo. Or maybe Binyan made Davao look bad on the defense. That's right, but uh, this time... They're attacking the defense of Tyrone Chan with Michael Cagnete. That's only the second, the third team foul for Binyan. Cagnete, by the way, he hails from Davao. So he is Bisaya speaking also. CJ, inside pass, broken up by Michael Maestre. And a chance to close the gap here, 68 to 62, as Pambo will penetrate. Loose ball. Picked up by Michael Cagnete. Manzo, the extra dish. He gets it back. He goes around in circles. CJ finds Flores inside. And he will be called for the offensive foul. And listen to the crowd roar. Leading with the shoulder right there was Flores. Able to stand his ground was Mike Maestro with yet another positive play for Binyan. Nice defense there by Michael. Goes down hard. And he checked his ribs if it's complete. <laughs> and yes, it is still complete. Sixty-eight to sixty-two. Seventeen seconds to go. Pomboy Raimundo exploding here in the third period. Shot clock at three. Pomboy. Fall away. Oh. That Michael Maestre did not give up on the play. And scoring on a putback on a miss by Pomboy Raimundo. And, uh, Mike Maestre just doing everything right there. That time not giving up on the play. Knew that there was still time on the clock able to score cuts the lead down and to look just at the, the the players the faces of the Davao Occidental Tiger especially Michael Maestri 68 for Davao 64 for Binyan the BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List C Prime Business Financing Corporation Converge Fiber X supported by Kalos PH Sportswear MDC Sports Finn Cotton Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. Shout out. Shout out, boy, Mama and Papa and Kuya. Okay, Yuriel, 
Panalo ka ng PSL mag at syempre ito, pigay mo sa dad mo, <laughs> sa baba mo, ang specialty soap from Top Top. Thank you for joining and enjoy the rest of the game. Yeah. All right, catch all the action on our Facebook page, PSL Online Official, our YouTube at PSL underscore TV, our Instagram, Filipina Super League. And we are also live at IBC 13. Fourth quarter action, Michael Maestri. An explosive game for him. Ready with 16 points and 12 rebounds. Coming out of nowhere for Coach Boyet. Tyron Chant across the gap. And it cuts down the lead to one, 68 to 67. And ever since coming in, Tyron Chan has already hit two three-pointers, giving a boost to this Binyan offense. Kelly Nabo. There is Tony Enoch. Back to Kelly. 4-3. Yes! Cold-blooded, silencing the crowd. Able to extend that lead back to four. As you see, the quarter scoring... Uh, Binyan able to come back in that quarter, outscoring the Tigers 23 to 19. Nice shot there inside. So the defense now of Davao is we just can't see here in the in the uh, second quarter. Uh, no, that's right. And uh, Binyan starting to get more aggressive, an opportunity to tie here. Bamboy. And Tyron Chan with a long rebound. And he is free. Bang! 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 And the lead is back with Binyan. Tyron Chan providing that spark. Three three-pointers since checking in in the third quarter. And Binyan for the first time since the first period. Ahead by one, 72 to 71. And listen to the Binyan faithfuls. Kelly. Chan on him. He goes inside and he is fouled hard. He goes down also. Able to fish a foul right there, Kelly Nabong. A fan favorite everywhere he goes. Not necessarily in a positive and way. he is the most interesting man here in the PSL. He's uh, an enigma in the PSL. <laughs> oh, our friend, the legend, Ray Hobley, is beside you. And that's the three-pointer of Tyron Chan. His second three-point shot here in the second half. That's right. And, and just uh, when they needed it. Just in time when they needed it. And the officials will review the Kelly Nabong case. You can see uh, team manager Arvin Bonleon. And now the head coach of the uh, San Sebastian Stags. And that's always uh, reviewable whenever you got players getting hit on the head. And that's the officials uh, taking a look at uh, the action there. And seeing here Coach Boyet uh, back on his feet earlier, you know, when they were mounting this rally, was still planted on his seat. Expressionless, <laughs> but uh, right now, uh, with his team right back in it, back on his feet, giving instruction to his team on the floor. So it was an ordinary foul that was called earlier, and uh, Kelly Nabo once more. Right now, you can see those uh, three pointers starting to, to fall for Binyan, and that's why they're back in the ball game. Unsportsmanlike foul on uh, JJ Pido. So two free throws. Kelly Navo, the most interesting man here in the PSL. The referees uh, deciding that uh, you know that contact there was intentional. For, uh, and he's hearing it from the crowd, and he silenced the crowd. And he doesn't really mind that yeah. noise. He loves that noise. He feeds off the energy of the crowd. He is the player that you love to hate. If you're the opponent, yes. And if he's on your team, he's the player that you will love for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and he thinks it's funny, right? Yeah, and he really loves uh, playing to the crowd. So... Dava back on top by one, 73 to 72. 
the biggest lead of Dava was at 20 points. And it it is history already. And of course, uh, DJ Pito not happy with the unsportsmanlike call. Some unlikely heroes here for Binyan Tyrone Chan, Kenny Roca Curva, and Mike Maestre. That's a travel. Justin Sanchez turned the ball over. It's a great stop from this uh, Binyan squad who suddenly has woken up here in the second half. Bam Bam Gamalinda back in the game for the Davao Occidental Tigers. They need his leadership here as Tyron Chan will get the ball. Back to Pamboy Raimundo. Nice shot by Pamboy Raimundo. That floater has been something that he has had ever since, even during his college days. Kelly Navo, Tyron Chan defending. Costello chasing him is Pamboy Raimundo. Kelly is left. Wide open for three, rebounded by Michael Maestri. Binyan dodged a bullet there. Kelly Nabong with a good look. 14 big rebounds now for Michael Maestri. 4-3. Short is Pamboy. And he gets the offensive rebound. How did he do that when he was the shooter? There was no backs out there for Davao. Tyron Chan for three. Michael. Oh, that's Kenny Rogers. I'm sorry. And uh, he fouled Justin Sanchez. But you know, the energy from uh, this Binyan squad on the floor has really been, been what's missing for them in the first half. And that's why we have a close ball game right here with Binyan still up by one point. 74 to 73. You don't necessarily see Pamboy Remundo very aggressive on offense, but uh, that has been what they needed here so far in this game. Ryan Costello, he gives it to uh, Justin Sanchez. Tony Enoch. Sanchez guarded by Kenny Rogers. There's the double team. Bam Bam back to Sanchez with two seconds to go. And the 24 bomb exploded right in the faces of the players of the Davao Occidental Tigers. Just uh, the defensive intensity increasing. For Binyan able to make another stop. And if you're Davao, they're getting a little uh, hesitant on the offensive end. You know, in the first quarter, they were really just very unselfish, getting open looks for each other. Foul is called away from the ball. It's going to be a foul on Tony Eno trying to deny posi uh, position to Jimboy Estrada. Six minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Tyron Cha with a seductive fake. Too strong. And Jimbo Estrada flying high to get that rebound. And what a fall away shot there by Jimbo Estrada. Second chance points really hurting Davo right now. 24. Second chance points for Binyan. Binyan shooting 29 of 64 from the field. Manalang, Michael will drive and he will score in transition. So Michael Maestre playing big time here. 18 points and 14 rebounds. A double double performance. Well, that's pretty much uh, the kind of performance you're going to get from Akiji Canileta. You know, he's like the, the, the next man up. And good defense there by Tyron Chan. Also, the defense of Tyron Chan has really been instrumental in this uh, comeback for Binyan. And all you need is playing time and Michael Maestre displaying it. The next man up mentality. Without KG Canaleta, Michael Maestre getting the rebound. And he is fouled hard by Kelly Nabong. Able to pluck the rebound of Kelly Nabong right there and that's really a testament to the hard work and uh, the intensity coming from Mike Maestre as uh, <laughs> the, the Binyan a coaching staff asking for a review on that piece of action on that foul by Kelly Nabong. Well, that will be his first personal and the second team foul for, for uh, Davao and they will review it. Let's take a look at this play here. See right there on the rebound, Mike Maestre trying to Ooh. 
uh, get back oh. possession is Kelly Nabong. You know, I love the attitude of uh, Michael Maestre. By not retaliating it, he was just, uh, you know, a smile and well, just let it go. Well, it was actually a play on the ball there for Kelly Nabong, but I think what they're because he saw the ball the, for a while is the wind up. But, uh, you know, he did hit only the shoulder uh, on that piece of action. So <laughs> that could just be <laughs> a regular foul as you see Kelly <laughs> Nabong still continuing <laughs> to play with the crowd. <laughs> Well, he's a jolly man, you know. You know, he is one of those players who wears his emotions on his sleeve. And, uh, you know, if you try to contain him, uh, he's not going to be that effective. You know, sometimes just, he goes up. It's just really a matter it's of being... It's just like, you know, a fire exploding uh, or a yeah, bomb exploding. Right. So it's just a but, re regular But uh, in his foul. last five games, he just, you know... It's just a regular foul on yeah. Kelly Nabong. His last five games, uh, he turned out to be a man that is very calm. Was it a regular foul? Pinarar just throws the ball in. Jimbo Estrada. Manalang with a spin. Picked up by Jimbo Estrada. Crossover move, creating space. He shoots and scores! Really what a, a shot there by Jimbo Estrada. A mid range expert. Jimbo Estrada can easily put points on the board. Ready with six points. 80 73. Bam Bam for three. Foul is called away from the ball. It's going to be on Tony Enoch. We didn't see that everything happening off the ball. As uh, those three-pointers just uh, not really falling anymore for Davo, although they're still hitting at a very high clip, 10 out of 17. That's 62% shooting from uh, the three-point territory. Davo, 51% shooting from the field and 62% shooting from beyond the arc. Jim Boy is still explode, exploding here in the fourth quarter. As you see here, points in the quarter, 16 already for Binyan against just five for Davao, an 11 point turnaround. Oh, with shot clock running down, Michael Cagnete picks up the foul. That's what you get when you reached in. And that's right, and almost a stop for them. The shot clock down to just four as Coach Manuel Nigo now showing a lot of frustration. As that could have been a turnover already. I see uh, assistant coach Noni Bonleon talking to the referee. And I see the sign POG, POG. <laughs> we'll be right back. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports. Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. All right, four minutes and 40 seconds remaining here, 80-73. It's been a hotly contested game here in Binyan, Noi, Africa. Well, you know, when uh, Kelly Nabong was uh, brought out for after his third personal foul was in kind of a discussion with coach uh, Manu Inigo felt like uh, he could you know play with the three fouls but right now they're down by seven points and let's see the response here for Davao four minutes and 14 to go fourth quarter action here Davao was their fourth team foul, while Binyan with two more fouls to give. Can Rogers took a cool roll, will throw it in. Tyron Chan. Oh, that's uh, by Chong who committing the turnover. And a follow up shot there by Justin Sanchez. You like how, off the timeout, Davao just 
really a lot of energy. And that time, Sanchez able to clean up that Lohera miss. Opportunity to cut the lead down to just four. Hey, look at the challenge of the Minyana players. Uh, that shot by Kurt Lohera. But uh, nobody uh, thought of boxing out. Justin Sanchez in transition and leads down to just four. 80-76. Four and a half to go. Kenny Rogers. Oh, I love this matchup. Tony Enoch versus Kenny Rogers, Luka Kurva. Estrada, 4-3. Bang! Bang! <laughs> bang! That's a big shot there, nonchalantly. Pulling up for that three-pointer. Jimbo Estrada already with nine points. Kurt gets the step. There's the blow by. Foul is called on by Tiong. Oh, no, it's number 28. 27. 27. It's uh, Robbie, Manalang. Robbie Manalang. As you see right there, Estrada seeing the the defender sagging on him. You see the him. defense of Davao. They really don't know what to do with that. Yeah, they thought Two he players was... showing up, I but think, they were far away. Yeah, they were expecting him to attack, uh, being, you know, a better mid-range shooter than he is from the three-point area, but he does have the ability to knock that three-pointer down. Kurt misses on his first attempt. Lujera only two points here, one rebound and one assist. Kelly Nabong on your screen. We're waiting for his time to get back on the floor. This game will definitely go down to the wire. 83-77. 10 seconds remaining in the shot clock. Jim Boy. Oh! Ho, ho! He is on fire. Sizing. And look at the reaction of uh, uh, Gako, Jerwin Gako of the uh, Binyan team. Michael Cañete. He is struggling in this game. Justin Sanchez goes inside. He kicks it out. Lohera with a fake. He will fire from short distance and will score. But uh, Binyan playing better defense. Clogging up that interior, but uh, leaving Kurt Lohera for that mid-range jumper. Kenny Rogers. Screen there by Baitiong. Pamboy, the attack, stripped away, and Maka Maisley keeping it alive and was able to score on a beautiful reverse. Monster numbers for Maestre hitting the 20-point barrier. His first in this tournament, 20 points and 16 rebounds. This is a guy who's averaging just three points per game. Cagliete thinking three. He changed his mind. He goes inside, and he throws the ball away. That was a wild play there for Michael Cagliete, trying to do too much on that penetration. So, uh, Marco Maestri, 20 points, 16 rebounds, one assist, a double-double performance. 87-79, two and a half to go. See Kelly Nabong checking back in for Davao. Now Nabong is guarding Jim Boy Estrada. Rebound control by Kenny Rogers outside to Jim Boy. Shot clock at 10 seconds. Raimundo. Estrada dancing for freedom with two seconds to go! Oh -ho! Intercepted by Pamboy Raimundo. What a show we're seeing here from Jimboy Estrada just taking everybody to the dance. 13 points for Jimboy Estrada. Four rebounds and one assist. Michael Maestre. Oh! Oh, that's Kenny Rogers, Luka Kurva. So there was no backs out there for the Dabo Oxrello Tigers. Uncontested rebound there by the uh, Binyan team. That's Kenny Rogers, Luka Kurva getting the, the rebound, the offensive rebound. The miss 
And the offensive rebound by Kenny Rogers to Kakurva. And look at Kelly Nabo and Justin Sanchez just staring at uh, Kenny Rogers to Kakurva. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. Well, what has been the story here? I think it's a 21 offensive rebounds for Binyan against just 9 for Davao. Out oh. of those 25 offensive rebounds, 28 that seconds. That could be the story points. of this game, uh, Noi Africa. Yeah, that's right. Even when they were down in the first half, it was really that offensive rebounding that was keeping them in the basketball game. And right now in the end game, it has uh, helped them create discussion. CJ from the line. And rebounded by J.J. Pito. One minute and 24 to go, 91 to 76. So a chance to be at the fifth spot here for Davao Noy. So what are the chances? Well, uh, right now, uh, everything relies on that uh, quezon Kalookan matchup. But uh, it looks like with an impending loss, Davao will finish at uh, number six. Locked in at number six already. Four games on uh, a Saturday at the Field Oil uh, Eco Oil Center. First game, the three won't work. First game will be Biko versus Novaliches. Kurt misses. Second game, big one, Kalaokan versus Quezon. Main game, another big one. San Juan versus San Juan versus Nueva Ecija. Pido, 30 seconds to go. And the crowd going to the exits. Of the Alonte Sports Arena. What a big second half turnaround for Binyan, outscoring Davao 52 to 30. So we are just waiting for the uh, final buzzer, the horn. So it, it is safe to say that Binyan will win this game 17 and 1 in going into the playoffs next week. Davao Occidental Tigers locked in at the number six spot. 13 and 5. 93 to 79. That's our final score. And our the Dumper Super Move of the Game brought to us by Dumper Party List. Before we go to that, oh yeah, here we go. Dumper Party List Super Move of the Game. Jim Boy Estrada. Nice shot. Scoring over Kelly Navong. From another angle, there's the dance. And there's the shot over Kelly Nabong. That uh, shot is brought to us by Dumper Parilis, our Topcock defensive play of the game. Michael Maestre, oh, that's Kenny Rogers, Suka Curva. And the finish. There's the Topcock defensive play. Kenny Rogers, Suka Curva, stealing that basketball in the dish. And the finish by Pamboy Raimundo. Our final score 93 for the Minyanta Tak Gel Beast Motorcycle Tires. Game X 79 for the Davo Occidental Tigers. And our best or the super player of the game, Michael Maestre. 20 points, 9 out of 11 from the field, 16 rebounds, a double double performance by Michael Maestre. Now we go to Andrea Veloso to talk. Thank you, Sandy. Congratulations, Michael. This was your best game so far here in this season. And you performed a double-double. You really stepped up on the absence of uh, KG Canaleta. So, ano ba yung tumatakbo sa isip mo during or even before this game? Uh, yun, sabi ni coach kanina sa amin na uh, we have to step up naman na uh, mga kaposisyon ni Kuya KJ. Na uh, kailangan daw namin mag-step up kasi wala siya. Uh, at huwag namin isipin na uh, dahil wala siya, Ma, di kami mananalo mga ganun na tinatagal lang namin at dinoble namin yung effort namin sa game kahit wala si Kuya KJ and para kay Kuya KJ at Kuya Ping ang game na to Congratulations Michael sa tingin mo after this game gaano nakahanda itong binyan para sa ating playoffs? 
Uh, mas lalo namin paghahandaan para sa playoffs para ma-maintain namin yung winning ano namin, winning strike nga at uh, double effort kami sa practice kasi ayaw namin matalo, gusto namin makuha tong championship na. Aabangan ka namin sa playoffs, Michael, baka may gusto kang pasalamatan o ay shout out. Boss namin sa Tarlac, si Boss Leo, si Boss Joji, at sa family ko. Once again, congratulations, Michael, and of course, to Binyan Tatak Gel Game X. Balik sa inyo, Sandy and Coach Noy. Thank you very much, Andrea Veloso. Our uh, oh, games on Saturday. Biko Spicy, Oregon versus the Nivaliches QC Warriors. Second game, Kansas Titans versus the Caloacan Supremos. Our main game, the Nueva Ecija Capitals will take on the San Juan Kings go for gold. Thank you very much, Andrea Veloso, our courtside reporter, Nori Uy of Nudge Productions. And my partner here, Noi Africa, Michael Maistre, our best player of the game. My name is Sandy Grumo from the Alonte Sports Arena here in Binyan. Mayong gabi, kaninyong tanan.